So, anyways, I can't say for sure. I'm just saying, following trends of like Shovel Knight and Mighty Number no. Nine and uh, Undertale, that we're probably kind of like getting around the end point of the uh, 2D platformer, uh, you know, Super Nintendo to NES style uh, games. Obviously, you'll still have probably have a couple indie games come out like that, but I think we're kind of reaching the end point of that because you know, the late 90, the kids who grew, grew up in the grew up in the late 90s are kind of becoming of game developer age at this point, so I think they'll probably start seeing like uh, stuff that are re is reminiscent of like Spyro or Super Mario 64 or Banjo, well obviously Banjo Kazooie, but or hell maybe even this game. You know, I, I just think that that's kind of cool. That there's just that trend that fuck you, don't you do that, you little piece of shit. There's this trend that game developers just kind of make what's nostalgic to them. And obviously, say what you will about it, you know, uninspired, whatever. Because, you know, I would like to say that innovative games are fucking awesome. Some games are just great. Like, innovative, new, fresh, and you don't get a lot of those. But, at the same time, it's kind of nice having a change of pace every so often. So, you go so long without these, this becomes nostalgic. Once you kind of realize it becomes nostalgic, you, people start making these games again. So, you don't really go more than probably 10 years without a game genre being completely dead. So, I just th thought that was kind of cool. A little uplifting thing. Just to, just to s brighten your day. Just to brighten your day. Secrets, I'm going to skip all that because I don't want to do do it. And do this. Because I can. And I will. Fuck are you. Oh, oh god, King, King Jellyfish. It was the first boss, and actually for the longest time when I played this as a kid, I didn't know this boss existed. Uh, probably because I would only get like a couple of spatulas up to five, and then I would immediately leave. Because then it was like, oh, well, I can unlock this level, so I'll start doing those. And then I'm like, oh, well, now I have 10, so I can unlock this level, so then I'll start doing those, you know? So, oh, for the longest time, I didn't know that this boss existed. Anyways, I'm SpongeBob now. Let's go kick some jellyfish. Hey! Let's go kick some ice. <laughs> I just like, sorry, I'm being kind of an idiot. I just like the song. And then notices me. I'm sorry, I'm a geek. I like this game. I'm sorry. I am a product of my nostalgia. Judge me for it is your God given right. Rip in peace. That's one. Okay, so this is where shit kind of gets kind of annoying is when you start getting these. Because then they zap you, and they're kind of hard to kill. Oh, not on top of me. Not on top of me. That, please don't take that out of context. Rip me. No! Fuck! Gotta go all the way, Shh, just die. Just die. Just fucking eat shit. No. 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 I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, got him. Got him! Yeah, got him! Yeah, got him! Yeah, got him! Oh, please don't! Like, how many? How much underwear do I have? Can I? Can I check that? Yeah, three. So I'm doing okay. I'll be okay. I'm not too concerned about it. Oh shit! No sir! No sir! I want it! No thank you! I'll have that on a different date. Oh, I fell in the water. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I beat him. Let's go down to the reward. Let's get the reward. Let's get the reward. Oh, another thing, another thing that I thought was really cool about this game was obviously that, you know, they took inspiration from certain episodes. And, you know, guilty pleasure, I like SpongeBob. I know a lot of people think it's really... Fuck. Every, a lot of people think it's really annoying. Or, you know, say what you will about it. And the new ones, yeah, the new ones suck. Whatever. But that can see the same thing can be said about Halo. Whoops, did I just say that out loud? No, but in all seriousness, I do fuck me. I do like SpongeBob, and I thought that it was cool that this game actually has a lot of elements from episodes that 
you know, you've seen in the past. Now, obviously, this gel jellyfish slide here is completely exclusive to the game. But you get, like, levels that are centered around certain episodes. Fuck, dude! I can't, first off, I have no idea how you're actually supposed to land on that properly. Because I, I remember being able to do that as a kid, but it was just as hard. There's a there's a sock in there, and I want the sock. I want it. I want it. No. Like that. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. No, in all seriousness, I actually... I just thought that was kind of cool that they centered levels around episodes. So, you get people who've actually watched the show or give two fucks about the show, like me. Uh... You know, you kind of have that cool, the cool thing. You just be like, "Hey, I, I've been, I've seen this place before. I, I get it. I understand. I get the reference. I understand." Would you like to go get some milkshakes? Maybe, maybe a malt. I'm sorry, I'm quoting YouTube videos that I used to like. <clears throat> oh, actually, I, I know this is a dumb idea. Oh. But I kind of want to... Uh, which one's the closest one? I think it's either that one or that one. Anyway, so when you start going out of bounds like this, they they kind of register it as, like, he'll take you away. You'll basically die. So these areas, for some reason, don't register as out of bounds. They actually register as part of the map. And then I guess you die anyway. I just wanted to see if I could walk all the way back there and maybe hit the wall because I like doing that sometimes. I like. To, I used to love doing that in Halo 3. Oh, God, dude. Allergies. But I used to love doing that in Halo 3, where I just I kind of took it as a challenge. How how far can you go off the map? Can you get off the map in this level? Is there a certain way you can do it? I just I love doing that. And like modern games kind of just don't understand the fact that that was cool. I mean, it's not a game hindering thing, you know. Where, so long as, you, like, if you can leave the map, you know, whatever, you can leave the map. If it's on campaign, who the fuck cares? But the whole, every first-person shooter has, like, the return to battlefield thing. It's kind of annoying, just because it's like... I'm gonna go this way. It's kind of annoying, just because I... I just liked having the challenge of saying, Can I find a way to break your game? You know, if nothing else, take it as, like, dev time. Oh, God. Ugh. Burps. Take it as just dev testing. Oh, I feel very barfy. Yeah, take it as basically dev testing. But obviously nowadays, that's a lot easier to do, just because you can update a game Downtown online, and Bikini that's fine. Bottom. You know, it just downloads Once updates and patches and holes or whatever. Now but to be honest, don't do it. I mean, exploits in games, yeah, whatever. But the thing was, is it really didn't hurt the gaming experience it didn't make you your no your play time go down or anything it was just a cool thing to try to do can i get off the map and see what i can't do oh don't look you bastard you bitch bastard you dingus dong and mother fracking oil getting mother pepper oh i like this cutscene because uh, cause it's so cartoony I like these guys. They got the little little, little gloves. They said, nee. "What am I saying?" Yeah, they, got, they, they look so. They look like something straight out of a little kid's cartoon. I love it. And now it's really very violent. And now it's even more violent because Gary dropping an anvil. You can't get any more cartoonish than that. And now the anvil's gone. So I'm just gonna rip in peace and just go do it again. Yeah, dude, you get down. You get down. I can't. I can't beat you. I can't beat you up when you do that. You can beat people up in this game, and you can't do it when you do that. Why, why not? Why can't you do that? Why can't you let me have this? You can't let me have anything. You're not my real dad. What am I talking about? Okay, I did it. I'm gonna go right back and get that thing. I want it. I want this thing. I actually don't think I can beat this uh, task unless I actually come close to beating the game. I think there's an area where it's like you have to get a certain ability you don't get until later in the game. Where you're in the, like, the final stage, not level, but stage. So, you, you know, there's like three levels, three to four levels to a stage. And, uh, you, you don't get, you get certain abilities for every stage you go by. 
So, one of them is called the cruise bubble. I think you actually have to have it to do that task. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I don't know if I'm ever gonna come back to this game. But if I do, then damn it, I'll be able to do it. No! I I saved it. I am the best around. Nobody's ever gonna bring me down. Anyway, I gotta straight up shooting furniture, man. Dude, you can't you can't be throwing your IKEA furniture at me solely because you can't find out how to put it together. I'm sorry. They look pretty close. You gave up too early, man. You were this close. You, instead of returning them, too, you just decided to throw it at me. Wow, what an ass. You know what? You deserve to not go to Ikea. Me and my I, you know, I could go I could go to Ikea and do whatever I want. You know, I'll, I'll just go there to hang out sometimes. That's not true. I don't have an Ikea near my house. But anyway, I, if I if I had an Ikea near me, I would totally just go there and hang out and say, what's up, dudes? Because it's an Ikea, man. I could totally just, like, look at furniture. Why is Ikea a meme? I don't get it! <laughs> Ikea is a fucking meme and I don't understand it. Eat it. I ate it. Can I, do, can I do the thing? Can I do the... Damn it. I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do the ball. It's a pain in the butt. I'm gonna do the balls. It's a pain in the balls. The balls. Pain in the balls. So... I'm gonna, go, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go do this. I'll date it. I'll date it. Okay. So, where am I at in the level? Uh, I've gotta do this. Go across the rooftops. Go all the way up there. Go Then go to the second part of the level. And then get all the rooftops up there. And then I can go up there and get all the spatulas. I personally don't think I'm gonna be doing that all this session. But, we'll certainly try. Fuck, don't walk off the edge. We'll certainly try. It would, wouldn't hurt to just say, hey. I said, hey, what's going on? I'm sorry, I'm feeling very meme right now. But it wouldn't hurt to just say, hey, I'm going I'm to I'm try my best. Can't guarantee I'm going to do everything this session, but I'll try my best. It just depends on how fast I get stuff done. Because I can get stuff done pretty quick in this game. But I think that for the most part, I'm just going to say, fuck it and call it quits about halfway through this level or so i don't know maybe i will maybe i won't and if you guys want to see more of it then you got you just tell me you, you just all you gotta do is tell me that's it I, i'll play more of this game i love this game as you said but i don't know man i get i know this game so well i just kind of it's just kind of a non non thing for me you know obviously there's a couple of you know no fuck that i'm not gonna go all the way there just for that fuck that F dead shit. So, uh, what was I saying? There's a couple of actual tasks in here, so if like if you want to see me 100% of the game, who knows? Maybe I'll do it. I've done it before. Anyway, so there's a couple of tasks in this game that stop me up now, like straight up constipated stop me up. Like they stress me out so much that I get stopped up. But hey, Larry. There was one of one of them was a good one that I used to play all the time as a kid and beat no problem. But now I can't beat it for shit. 